This is the high school student athlete profile, thanks to Kelly Burt Dozer. And today we're visiting with College Station High School baseball player Matthew Bennett. Matthew, thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, what year are you at College Station? I'm a senior. Okay. And how many years have you been on the varsity baseball team? Uh, this will be my fourth year. So all four years. Yeah. Okay. What number do you wear? Uh, I wear number six. Is there a special meaning behind number six for you? Yes. Um, I'm named after um, one of the original Hall of Fame baseball players, Christy Matheson, okay. and he wore number six. So okay. I just thought it would be something cool to do. Yeah, very cool. Now, do you currently play any other sports or is it just baseball? No, I stopped playing football after my freshman year and then I play basketball like recreationally, but no, I just, just do baseball. Okay. Have you ever lived anywhere else or were you born and raised in College Station? I was actually born in Auburn, Alabama. My dad coached there, so, and then we've moved all around the South, mm -hmm. lived in Mississippi, Florida, and we've been in Texas for about seven years. Okay. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have three siblings, two younger sisters who are both at the high school and then a younger brother that's in elementary school. Okay, so you're the oldest of the four. I am the oldest. Right. Do you think that they look up to you, especially your younger brother? I, I feel like I feel like they do. It's it's tough sometimes though because sometimes I like see him mimicking things that I do that necessarily I don't want him to. But it's fun to have yeah. a younger brother and just to hang out with him and stuff. Yeah, and then what about your sisters? Do you think, especially because they're at the high yeah. school with you yeah. now, do you think um, is that hard for them or do they like having older brother around? I think they like having it just for just to have some like continuity and already know people from my friends and stuff so it's it I think they like it okay now um you mentioned your dad coaching I'm assuming he was a player as well back in the day yeah what about any you know uncles cousins I mean is this something that really kind of runs in the family it does my uncle played at Tennessee and then my dad played at Tennessee Tech so it's kind of like a family thing yeah. definitely Okay, cool. Who would you consider, and it doesn't have to be just in the game of baseball, but who would you consider your biggest influence? Man, um, besides my dad, mm -hmm. because he's been my coach for my entire life, yeah. I would say probably Tim Tebow because of how like how he goes about doing things and his mm -hmm. faith and how he integrates his Christian faith into mm -hmm. like the sport he plays. Now, Matthew, when did you start playing baseball? Oh, man, since I could pick up a bat, my mm -hmm. first, like, like organized was when I was about three or four playing t-ball. All right. What's one of your first memories from when you started playing? Um, hitting in the backyard with my dad. Yeah. That's always been, and just like we had, we had like family wiffle ball games, and so that was always something fun to do. What is it about the sport of baseball? Why do you love it so much? I feel like I'm kind of a, I'm like more of a mental like thinker. Mm -hmm. So I feel like baseball is more of a like a cognitive thinking, mm -hmm. mental game, and it's like competing, and there's no like time. Mm -hmm. So like every team, like each team gets a shot to win. So you have to, I mean, you have to play and win. There's not like a specific time limit. I really like that too. Right. What position do you play? Um, I play first and I pitch. Okay. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? Um, I like pitching the best. You. Yeah. What's your favorite part about being on the mound? Oh man, um, just going up there and competing with every single guy that comes to the plate and knowing that like I have a chance to help my team win. What about the toughest part about being a pitcher? Oh man. Facing really good hitters, definitely, because I mean, in summer, in the summer and stuff, we play a ton of Division One players. So, like, having to get them out and having to figure out how to get them out is. It's tough, but it's fun. I enjoy it. This is the high school student athlete profile, thanks to Kelly Burt Dozer. And we're visiting with College Station High's Matthew Bennett from the Cougar baseball team. You know, Matthew, along with practice and just being on the field comes weight room, conditioning, stuff like that. Do you consider yourself a pretty hard worker off the field? Definitely. I mean, to be able to, at a, especially at a high school like this that's so academically challenging, I feel like we have to be at the top of our game both in the classroom and on the field to be able to perform to our, like, to the best we can. Mm -hmm. What's been something, especially maybe in the last year, you've been working on in the weight room or conditioning wise, but that you can tell has helped you improve in the game? I feel like staying organized because okay. I'm not exactly an orderly person mm -hmm. and like managing my time wisely is really key, especially with especially during baseball season, missing class and having makeup work mm -hmm. and things like that. It's just really tough to be able to manage my time wisely. Yeah. Personally, what were some goals that you had going into your senior season this year? Um, before this summer, my goal was to commit to go play Division One baseball, which I ended up doing the, the day that school started, which was awesome. But besides that, um, keeping my A average and just working hard to be a leader on this team because we're so there's like a lot of new faces on this specific team. Well, let's go ahead and talk about that. Where did you end up committing to play? Um, Samford University in Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, cool. Yeah. Congratulations.
congratulations. That's awesome. You mentioned your teammates. You know, what qualities do you think make a good teammate? I feel like being able to, being willing to sacrifice mm-hmm. for the team because a lot of guys, like not everyone's going to be in that key role and then that starting role and just being able to be up and like be a good teammate and being supportive constantly, that's kind of what brings the team together besides, I mean, because selfishness kind of divides the team. You've been on some very successful teams here in the past at College Station High. Describe the chemistry of this year's team. Um, it's It's... A little tough because I had Kyle and I, one of my teammates, had played with the same team for three years and then having a bunch of guys moving up and then moving in and a bunch of new faces. But we're getting there, definitely. We're, we're, I mean, I love all these guys and we're working hard for the same goal, so it's pretty easy to kind of, yeah. kind of come together. I want you to talk a little bit about your coaching staff, you know, Coach Holder and the rest of the coaches here. What makes them, you know, so special and really make this program so successful? Um, Coach Holder is very demanding. And while that may be tough on some people, I feel like that has helped me become the player I am today and really working and pushing and like not not settling for average and he kind of pushed me to become who I am today and then a guy that's not here anymore he's a head coach at Belleville now coach Litton he was my pitching coach and so he really like pushed me to work hard and like to see my own potential and trust the process of working hard and seeing results later on. Matthew, you've had some great games and some great plays over the years. Is there one game that really stands out as your favorite? Oh man, um, probably the state semifinal game. I had a walk-off hit to win that game, so that was that's probably the highlight if I had to pick one, definitely. Okay. This is the high school student athlete profile. Thanks to Kelly Burt Dozer. We're visiting with Matthew Bennett from the College Station Cougar baseball team. Um, Matthew, talking about school just a little bit, what's been one of your favorite subjects? Oh, man. Um, I like English a lot. Just being able, I've always liked writing things and like writing stories and reading. I've always been, I'm kind of a bookworm, I guess, okay. but I've always really enjoyed reading and writing and learning about syntax and diction and different literary elements. So I guess English is probably my favorite. What's been one of your favorite classes to take in high school? Oh man, um, economics okay. probably because that's what I'm going to be stud- majoring in in college. So that was a good introduction to the field that I'm intending to pursue, definitely. There's a lot of cougar pride around this place. Yeah. Why do you love going to school here? Oh man, we just, I mean, we're kind of seen around like around areas because we've been so successful and because of how successful we are academically and a- athletically. Mm-hmm. We just really like come together because our, because of our success. Mm-hmm. We really bond together as a school and everyone's involved in different things and we all have that common, I mean, we just, it's just, it's awesome how like together we are in that. You still have the senior season left, but how excited are you about college? Oh, man, I'm ready. But it's, I mean, I just got to stay focused on the task at hand. But I definitely, I mean, after visits and stuff and after signing, I'm really excited for the future, definitely. All right, a few fun questions. When you aren't in school and you're not playing baseball, what do you like to do in your free time? Oh, man. Um, like I said earlier, I like reading a lot. Yeah. Um, I love movies. My, our family is a big movie family. And then, I don't know, we like we go on a lot of... We go to the beach a lot during summers, and I really like doing like pick up basketball and pick up football and things like that, and just hanging out with friends. It's, it's fun. What is your favorite type of music to listen to? Oh man, probably Christian rap. I've been listening to it since I was a little kid. But honestly, I, I like any kind of music, as the, like any kind of good music, blues, rock, jazz, any kind, anything like that is enjoyable as long as the people. I think it's quality music. You mentioned that you like movies. Who is your favorite actor or actress? Denzel Washington, definitely, okay. because he he goes into each part, either Denzel or DiCaprio, because they both go into each part and they're fully immersed. And I kind of like look at that like if I'm going to do something or if I have a hobby or if I have something that I want to do, then I need to fully immerse myself in it to be able to like to be as successful as I yeah. think I can be. If you could trade lives with somebody for 24 hours, who would you switch places with and why? I'd have to say Derek Jeter because he's retired and he's chilling and he, he, I mean, he just really seems to enjoy his life. And so that's either him or Tim Tebow, as I mentioned yeah. earlier, but I kind of wanted to go off a little bit on that. Would you rather watch college baseball or professional baseball? College baseball okay. because the, the intensity of a regular season series or a game is a heck of a lot more 
like it's they're a lot more intense than a professional game which seems more laid back and relaxed so I like that intensity into every pitch and every inning definitely Growing up, what was your favorite team to watch? Either the Yankees or the Braves. The Yankees because, I mean, my dad's a big Yankees fan. And then the Braves because two former players that have played with the Braves, Tim Hudson and David Ross, they were – my dad coached them at Auburn. Okay. So we always – the Braves game, yeah. we're always, yeah. always on the TV, definitely. If you could play catch with anyone dead or alive, who would you play catch with? Uh, probably Christy Matheson, the guy I'm named after. Yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about food a little bit. What is your favorite restaurant in town? Probably Cafe Excel, if we, if I had to pick. Yeah. But really, I like any kind of any kind of American food or Cajun food. My mom's okay. Cajun, so we have a lot of gumbo, fried shrimp, yeah. crawfish. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What? It, so at home, what's one of your favorite home cooked meals? Fried shrimp. Fried shrimp. And so I have that every t- every birthday. I have yeah. a big plate of fried shrimp. It's amazing. Yeah. What about dessert? Do you have a sweet tooth? Definitely, yeah, definitely. What's your favorite? She, my mom makes the best chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Okay. So definitely chocolate chip cookies. A few more baseball questions for you. Favorite baseball movie? Uh, probably the Sandlot. Sandlot. Yeah, a little, it's a little cliche, no, but that's okay. I, we kind of like, growing up, we kind of pictured ourselves as the Sandlot, me and my buddy. So it's always been something that we've enjoyed watching. What is your favorite flavor of sunflower seeds? Definitely, Biggs. Dill pickle. Dill pickle. Yeah, okay. definitely. All right, walk off home run or game ending strikeout? As a pitcher, probably game ending strikeout, but it would be nice to have a walk off home run yeah, too. It's yeah. hard to, it's, that's a hard one to pick. What's your walk up song this year? Um, it's called Nothing I Can't Do by Tripoli and Tadashi. It's a Christian rap okay, song. Cool. Yeah. What is, okay, so we talked about um, your favorite professional team. You like the Yankees and the Braves. Who's your current favorite professional player? Mike Trout, because of how well-rounded he is. Like, a lot of guys in the majors get to the majors by being strong in, like, one facet of the game or two facets. But he's really good in every facet of the game. He's a five-tool player, so definitely him, yeah. Now, Matthew, you're a senior. Um, You know, looking back on your freshman year, can you believe that it's already coming to an end? No, it it feels like yesterday that I was starting out Mm -hmm. freshman year worrying about if I was going to make varsity. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's flown by, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. When when you're done this year, what do you really want people to think about when they look back on your time as a Cougar? That I did things the right way. And, I I mean, my dad's always, like, um, brought me up about treating the game with respect and doing things the right way and respecting your opponent and just being like being successful so I've always wanted to be known as the guy that did everything the right way and was classy and a good teammate and things like that well Matthew thanks for hanging out with us today and best of luck with your senior season thank you